Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson here on the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to find the perfect back end keywords for your listing on Amazon. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in watching, be sure to stick around to the end. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. But without further ado, let's get right into it. So we're gonna move over into my listing. This would be a pretty quick video. I just wanted to give you some direct knowledge to how to come up with the perfect keywords for your listing. So I've just pulled up the succulent hang planter. We've used this as an example before on the channel, I believe somewhere, I forget what we were talking about, but anyway, we'll go with this listing here, right? Let's say that this is our competitor. We're gonna be selling a variation of this. Maybe we've changed the color of the bowl. We've changed the color of the strap. Um, and we're gonna be selling this product, okay? How would we go about coming up with the perfect backend keywords on our listing so that Amazon knows exactly what we're selling and exactly where to put it? Well, the first thing you'd wanna do is you'd probably want to go ahead and grab your competitor's ASIN, right? Because a great way to get the perfect keywords is to use a listing that's already performing extremely well. We could model those exact keywords that they're using. So we'll come in here, uh, right up in the URL, you could grab the ASIN, it's like an old school trick, or you could, you know, you, you know where to get the ASIN. Now we're gonna come over to, well, I'm gonna be using Helium 10 today. Whatever software you wanna use, you can go ahead and use. Come down here, we'll go into keyword research and then Cerebro. Okay, great. I'm going to product ASINs and we're going to hit get keywords. Now, while that's loading, I'm actually gonna go try and find one or two more listings. In this market specifically, I don't think we really have great examples of products that are similar. Um, we're kind of going for that round strap style hanging thing. So yeah, in this case, because there's only one, uh, I'm just gonna use one listing. Uh, these are kind of similar. I guess we could use those as well. well. Go ahead and we'll grab this ASIN as well. Come back to Cerebro and we'll put that in there and we'll just hit get keywords again. And that will, it looks like we've used that. We'll just do that so that'll be a little bit faster. Go ahead and load that up and then we should get some more keywords in because we've put two ASINs instead of one. A lot of them are going to be duplicates, so Helium 10, it's not going to add them twice, but if there's any new ones, those will be sure to pop up. So once this finishes loading, we're gonna be playing around with some filters. Okay, so now we're in here yet, we got about 3,000 more. We're gonna be playing around with some filters because obviously we don't have 10,000 keywords. That's just absolutely absurd. What we're actually going to do is we're gonna come in here, we're gonna put some filters in. So why don't we say we only wanna see keywords that have a minimum of 100 search volume. Maybe we don't wanna see anything that is just kind of these fluff keywords where there's no real direct traffic, it's just misspellings or um, very weird phrases that aren't searched as often. So we'll, we'll just go ahead and we'll take out anything below 100 searches per month. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come into match type and we're gonna go organic. So I only wanna see keywords that these competitors are organically ranking for. And then why don't we go ahead, and because we have two ASINs, I'm gonna use the advanced rank filter. We'll come in here and we'll say both ASINs, so a minimum of two, so that's both the ASINs we have, are ranking in positions one through 50 for the following keywords. And we'll go ahead and we'll hit apply. That's gonna take us down from 10,000 to 47. So now we have our list of keywords here and these are all things that have to do with these products. Notice how relevant these are, right? We have leather plant hanger. I believe the one that we originally saw had the leather strap instead of that one. Hanging herb planter, white hanging planter pot, um, hanging planters indoor, right? All of these are extremely relevant keyword phrases. Now that's great if you wanna build out your um, bullet points, you wanna build out your title, you have these phrases, but how would we go about getting those individual keywords, right? Am I really gonna sit through here and look for individually what words I should be putting in there? No, we're gonna grab a simple feature right up here. If you go to export and then to Frankenstein. Frankenstein is another tool by Helium 10 and let me show you how this works. So Frankenstein is a really powerful keyword processor. Um, I used to use external keyword processors but this tool uh, has basically taken away my need to use anything other than this. What this is going to do is it's gonna take these 
phrases, these 47 phrases that we put in there, total of 1,217 characters in 173 different words. And then using these filters down below, it's gonna give us a list of words the way we're gonna do it with a frequency count and in order. So check this out. We're gonna do one phrase per line. We are going to do include word frequency count. We are going to do remove common words like a or for, you could see uh, the for disappear when I click on this. So we're gonna remove that. And then we are going to, a lot of times I'll remove single letters as well. They'll take out a or i, things like that. Now. What we're going to do is we're gonna come over to the right hand side and we're gonna hit sort by frequency. So right here, we have a good high quality list of keywords already. This would be a great place to start for your search terms, right? We have hanging, planter, indoor ceramic, plants, planters, succulent. Um, that's a brand, I actually wouldn't include that one. Modern, plant, white, leather, pot, all of those things are great. Now what's happened here is we've only gotten about I don't know, that's too many to count just by looking at it, but it looks like maybe 20 or 30 keywords. If we wanted to get more than that, there's a max that you could put into your listing, but what we would have to do is we'd have to loosen up our filters a little bit. So maybe we go one out of 75, and then that takes us to 100, so we've doubled there. So now that we've doubled there, we would export to Frankenstein again. The new one, we do all the same things. One word for uh, per line, include frequency count, remove common words, remove single letters, and then we're gonna sort by frequency. So now we have a much larger list, right? Of course, all of, pretty much all of those are gonna be just about the same because of the fact that they're showing up so much, that's why they're at the top. So really these ones towards the bottom tend not to matter as much, but they're helpful to have them in there nonetheless. So we went from that to that. Okay, does that make sense? So that's how I would make this list of keywords, right? Now they're individually sorted. They are sorted by frequency. So this is actually the order you'd wanna put them in. This is, if you didn't know, this is how you would wanna build your title too. You'd be using these keywords right up top to, um, those are the most frequently showing up. So those are the ones you wanna be putting at the beginning of your title. So we would do like hanging planter for indoor plants, right? Hanging planter for indoor plants. Uh, ceramic, modern, uh, succulent, wall pop. That's how you would go about building a title, right? You'd want to use, utilize those, but these are the back end keywords. So what we're going to be using is we're going to be taking these copy and then we're going to go over to seller central and we're going to input them into just like a bare bones listing like you would have right now. So I'll show you where those go. All right. So I've just opened up my seller central account. I've gone onto a listing that I'm creating at the moment and I've just wiped out the search terms area so that you could see where you'd be inputting those. We're here in uh, manage inventory, edit on the listing, and then you're gonna go over to keywords and down to search terms, right? Then you're gonna take that list that we just got here, we're gonna copy those, and we're just gonna input them right in there. Now, this is what I actually wanted to show you. You have to have it less than a certain length. So what you wanna do is don't take the top one, start taking words off the end, click off of it to let it reload, and then just keep doing that a couple words at a time until it is the proper length. So we click off, even finish. Um, a lot of the times, that's why I said sometimes grabbing these longer ones doesn't really matter because you can only fit so many in anyway. Um, so we'll just start taking these out, like I said. And there you go. So this is the proper length. We could actually save and finish now. It looks like we ended at artificial. I know for a fact that Umbra is a brand, so I'd probably take that out. And I know that Makono was a brand as well, wherever they were, here they are. So take those out. Um, and here we go. Here we have our search terms that we've created based on the frequency count of words that we got from competitors that have similar products. Just a quick little lesson for you guys here today, but I wanted to get right into some keyword optimization. So if you already have a listing, this will be great for you. And if you're building this list, a listing, this will be great for you as well. So if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like if you didn't a dislike. And as always, I will be seeing you here on the channel tomorrow for another video. Thanks so much for watching. Later.